What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome back to Danganronpa. In the last episode, Monokuma caused a complete uproar by letting us all know that Sakura was a spy. And this caused so many problems. And I noticed all the comments were basically the same. For one, general consensus says that Byakuya is indeed a dick. That won't change. And everybody wanted to hang out with Hiro today. We've got plenty of free time. Let's go hang out with Hiro today. First things first, I've already got plenty of presents, so I won't waste your time going to go get more presents. I'm actually going to see if the uh, the three ladies who are having a rough time or don't want to talk to me are actually available. Everybody is on this floor, because we're all still checking out the fourth floor. It makes a lot of sense. First person is Aoi. I mentioned that since she's kind of in a bad mood, she's not up for talking. And uh, I went and tested it before this episode. You can talk to her. You can brighten up her day. But you will not advance the social link. Even if you give her an A rank present, nothing's happening. So, uh, sorry, Aoi. Not today. Everybody wants hero. Today's a hero day. National Hero Day. The next person... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I just gotta try Kyoko. Anyway. <laughs> oh, this is getting silly. The number one hated person. I might be hated even more than the mastermind that we know nothing about. Well, fine, be that way. The last person on the list... I didn't know she was out and about. Sakura! I have a strange feeling. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't think so. Whenever you see text from a character where it looks like they're in a bad mood, like you could just tell most of the time, you're not going to get points. Sakura is a very good example. Same thing with Aoi. You will do something to you know try to lift their spirits, but nothing will happen, even if you give them an A-ranking item. So... Sakura, maybe another time. I know you're definitely going through a lot. I would hate to be in your shoes. Let's hang out with somebody else. Like Hiro. Hey, buddy. Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. <laughs> What's going on? We will hang out well? with you, Hiro. Well, that sounds great. We have to go all the way back to the first floor, so could have done something else to pass the time, I guess. Oh, the power spots. Are there spots of power in Hope Speak Academy? Yeah, I want to give Hero a present. I've mentioned before that Hero is a big fan of Uparts, out of place artifacts. And it just so happens that there are a lot of out of place artifacts in a row the Crystal Skull, the Golden Airplane, uh, Prince Shotoku's Globe. But there's another fun one that I seem to have uh, just a few of them the Sacred Tree Sprig. The branch from a Sakaki tree. Common used in Shinto rituals, it serves as a connection between humans and the gods. We were just talking about power spots. Hero, have a twig. <laughs> See? Even he mentions it's an ooh part. That's cool. <laughs> the era of Hero. Glad you like it, man. Yo. Oh, uh, wait, what? Whoa, hey now. Oh, so then. Next round of what? Mother loving? It's like you've seen the future. <laughs> How much are you gonna charge me this time, you cheapskate? You con artist? You jerk. Tell me, is your percentile a ruse? Hmm. Oh, I, I clearly I know a lot about divination. <laughs> oh, once or twice I've been there. You know, common stuff.
I know nothing, Hero. Please don't ask me for advice. Yo. Oh no. Here we go. Question time. Could it be? Oh, Arcanas. I better know this. Alright, 22 cards known as the Major Arcana and 56 cards known as the Minor Arcana. Uh, I don't know a lot about tarot cards, but I'll run with it. Hmm, I thought this would have been uh, a lot tougher. Maybe they're tarot cards! <laughs> wow! Playing Persona helped! Yeah, only 600 bones. It, what? <laughs> Makoto sees this as a deal. You're going to tell me my fortune with a success rate of 25 to 30% for only $600? <laughs> what a steal! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Makoto, for uh, giving him the old uh, sleight of hand. <sighs> yep, I'll be here. Do you get your powers from the gods? Don't be mean! I read people's wallets. Ooh, numerology. Do tell. You've got my attention. Yo! I would just die if Hero was secretly, like, the biggest genius you've ever seen. Like, he's he's the best with numbers and everything. Oh, it'll just blow my mind. Hmm. Inspirational. So you make a wild guess based on the numbers. How about that? Well, what would you call it? Don't tell Hero he's got supernatural powers. I don't think even he can handle it. It's not like some occult mystery. Okay, okay. So it's not the occult. It's just... randomness. Well... All right, for how much extra? The luxury suite of heaven. How do you get into that besides dying? Whoa, I'm tripping out, hero. I'm witnessing miracles. Uh, the proper term to describe Hero is ass backwards. What the heck? Oh, come on! Make up your mind, you silly man! He's like a walking contradiction. He's an Escher painting come to life. Ugh. Can't understand the dude. I have actually had people try to con me. Like, I've been to Europe a couple times, and going to certain tourist spots, there's a lot of people who try to, like, like sell you things. Like, uh, mostly artists uh, around France and other parts of there. They will always, like, come up to you and try to draw you, and then try to sell you the picture. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of funny in a way, but you do have to, like, quickly shake them off and say, no, 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 I'm not buying that, because if they finish it, they they expect that money. The real question here, who did I choose to be next? Honestly, don't hate me for this, but uh, we haven't hung out with this person in a long, long time, because he's a douche. <laughs> 
There's no other way to describe the guy. Byakuya, you're the man of the hour. Some people were very interested in what you had to say. No idea why, and I went to the wrong spot. It's good to see you two hanging out, though. Sorry, I read the map incorrectly. He is not here, but he is in the warehouse. Oh, hi, Toko. Are you sneaking up on Byakuya? Is he hiding in here? Because I could believe that. There you are, buddy. Hopefully you're not in a bad mood. Hmm. I'm trying to think that the more we hang out with Byakuya, the more we're going to figure out why the attitude. <laughs> of course, some people go with the thought process that people are born douchebags. Mm, that might be the case here. What do you want? Oh, you actually noticed my presence, sir. Yeah, let's hang out with you. <laughs> I'm really curious. That's fine. Plus, I've had an entire day to, to you know, uh, cool down. Oh, I do appreciate it, Master. Uh, do you want me to flip my head so you can step on the other side of my face? Well, looking into what type of presence Byakuya likes, it's really interesting how close he and Hiro are. Hiro loves Uparts. So does Byakuya. Why? Well, think of it this way. Out-of-place artifacts are good for... Um, I guess more for collector's sake. And when you're talking Hiro, he likes them because, you know, there's some significance outside of its value. Or maybe he does like it for the value. But Byakuya, being the rich kid he already is, you can give him any of these, and these are considered A-ranking items. But there is one other thing that he likes. You could consider it an artifact, but the scarab brooch. The scarab was considered to be sacred by many ancient societies. It's better known today as the dung beetle. It's good to give a shithead like Byakuya this. Here you go. This is... <laughs> I've got, like, three. Do you want to pay for the other ones? <laughs> oh, yeah. Naturally. Oh, go ahead. I've got plenty more. If you ever need hooked up with the most completely off-the-wall artifacts that are impossible to find, you know where to find me. I'm starting to sound like Hero. So, in other words... Are you talented in other things? Wait, you don't? Do you really not care about the family name? <laughs> An affluent progeny being the family name's savior. You set your goals to the highest point, and knowing you, you're going to achieve them. Good for you? Really? Can you imagine what that would do to your ego, or to your thought process? If your family just casually walked in, you know, billion dollar corporation, <laughs> and they just said, You saved our asses, Byakuya. Have the family. Chosen among the chosen. He is the chosen one. The ultimate affluent progeny. That's probably where all the confidence comes from. His family babying him the entire time. Naturally. This is what I wanted to know. For such a big family, I'm, I'm assuming a big family, the big Togami name, how does one make it to your status? <laughs> oh my god. You are the $4 billion man? That's, that's pretty impressive. And that's just starting out. You're, you're like, what, 17, 18? That's impressive. Like, oh, wow. 
Uh, I'm assuming stock market. It's either that or you somehow tricked a big budget corporation, like like you bought it, but in order to keep for the uh, company to keep their name, you sold it back to them at twice the price. In other words, nope. Oh, stock market called it, and I think I just referenced Yu-Gi-Oh. Based on trends, all within a single day. I, I don't even... I can't even begin to understand the stock market. I know buy low, sell high. But you gotta, like, be able to roll the dice when it comes to stock. Yes. Because sometimes that stuff you buy low stays low, and you're losing money. A lot of money. I don't believe it's trademarks and trading cards. I don't think he deals in the stock market of children's trading cards. So how about day trading? I actually knew something! Through process of elimination. How long did it take you to make that four billion? That's right. <laughs> so your simple everyday hobby was buying and selling stocks and making... So much money. Not that big of a deal. You could buy me. <laughs> you could buy everything my family owns. Like, you could just say, by the way, Makoto, your house and everything in it, including your family, is mine. Well, the family name probably gets him uh, certain rights. Don't make me repeat myself. Yeah, yeah. That I, I can't argue with that. You are who you say you are. I mean, I understood it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, let me just check my wallet. Can you break a million? You are not a king, but only a man. The ultimate day trader sounds stupid. I still like affluent progeny. Sounds cool. <laughs> the stock market was simple. I can't believe this guy. This is running circles around me. <laughs> that is insulting. Ouch. Oh, I'm so hurt for not understanding the stock market. You get bored of it quick? Maybe that's why you're single. Oh! Uh. Well, with that much money in your back pocket, you can do whatever you want. Hey, you know, he essentially rules the world. His family does, at least, and he's on his way up there. Just being in his presence. Oh, I, I'm in so much awe. Universes, opposite ends of the holy spectrum. But now we know a little bit more about Byakuya. Somehow, in that conversation, I only got insulted like three times. That's a new one. Absolutely insane. So much money. I will never see that much money. I won't even see 1% of that in my lifetime. And he just got it in like a week. Nah, I'm bored with it. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.
The day after we learn something catastrophic, and it's just... I don't know, I got a feeling. I don't like this feeling. I have never liked this feeling. Everybody's pissed off. Nothing has gotten solved. And half the group is in fear of their lives because of one person. Hey, Monokuma, anybody ever tell you you've got crabs? I'm sorry, I'll hit myself. Ow! So instead of a shrimp, you became a crab. A giant enemy crab. Sideways and backwards? What is this world coming to? You're no Mr. Krabs. I just realized Mr. Krabs is the only crab that can go straight forward. I'm pointing out cartoon logic. Wait, how did we get into this debate? I will not stand for this injustice of crabs not getting the limelight. Why don't we have people dressing up as crabs for Halloween? For anything? Why don't we have a crab day? Because bears are everywhere. You just have to grin and bear it. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! Part 2. Danganronpa. <laughs>